played Amaryllis before. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure Amaryllis kind of struggles in this matchup. But the real thing about this matchup is that Bayo has to play heavy neutral against Squirtle. Because that's the main mm. struggle. Like, I feel like Bayo doesn't have as much of an issue playing against people or, like, you know, characters like Charizard, Ivysaur. Those aren't the real issue. It's more of, like, you know, Squirtle. Because Squirtle's super fast. Squirtle can kill. But the only issue with that is that Squirtle dies really heavy. So if you don't switch fast enough, you might be able to just, like, lose your whole entire stock because you didn't switch. Which is like uh, the main premise of this. All right, Just all like right. use it for very good neutral and then SDI pretty freaking well. All right, I, I, I could I, I could see uh, a, a bit of what you're saying. Now, like um, when, when you when you mentioned like SDI, you mean like SDI and uh, like Squirtle's combos or Bayo's combos? Both actually. Oh, uh, both. Well, okay. so like Bayo, Ooh, that was a Jesus really nice Christ. up air. Getting hit by that Razor Leaf. Oh wow. That was actually amazing, but like when it comes to SDI, Bayo has to SDI out of Squirtle's combos because she's a fast baller. Mm. So, like, in order to like get out of the combos and still continue playing neutral, Bayo has to really SDI. But also, Squirtle doesn't want to die at a very early percent, which absolutely can happen. Uh, I, 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 I get you. And like, yo, right, right now, 100%. Th thankfully, uh, we switch on over to Ivy. But mm -mm. as as you as you may have said. Uh, Quid might, might have a bit of a harder time in, in neutral here and there, but things things aren't looking too bad. But Amarillo's keeping up that pressure and getting the nice back air off, kind of cl closing the gap that, uh, that that they got against Quid right here. Although, although Quid's st still chilling with, with a pretty nice percent lead right here. Got got that got that back throw off. Mm. And uh, I'm guessing also that neutral B might might be an extra pain in the ass. Ooh, yeah. damn. So the issue there was that Amaryllis got hit by on the F tilt mm -hmm. while trying to do something off stage, which was really bad because then that meant that they didn't have a resource to be able to make it back to ledge. So now they're actually on their last stock, which is probably going to be a little bit hard, but they also have Squirtle, which is like the main like factor of like how Bayo can bring this back because Squirtle is like super light. So Squirtle can <laughs> die. Wait. Okay, now. Nah. Just a oh, little bit more percent, right. actually, and that would have killed. Which is like the funny part. Yeah, like how Qu Quincy Mackles the dying right there. Shit. Oh, almost had that had that up tilt to back, but nope, not quite. Not, a bit of a nice reversal fr from Quid, but not not keeping the pr pressure going for too long. And A, Amarillas get, getting that nice back air off, and the the gap has, has been closed a bit yet again. Hold up. Okay. Uh, it seems to have a, a bit of a combo going for for just a moment, but uh, not not for not for too long. But hey, be be better than nothing. Hold up. Okay, nah, come on. <laughs> okay, getting this combo and ooh, if that would have been an up air, that would have been so close to death. But that was really nice on Amarillo's part, getting that ooh, dodge. Yeah. I think what really needs to happen here is Amaryllis needs to be really careful about not only how they use their combos, but how they play neutral, because you don't really have to be scared of Charizard, right? You have to be more scared of, like, um, you know, Squirtle more than you have to be afraid of Charizard. Yeah, I, I, I kind of understand, especially with, like, uh, the, uh, the much faster options that Squirtle seems to have. Um, especially in comparison to the likes of uh, Charizard, and, and of course you mentioning that Squirtle being uh, m much more light and shit. No, hold up. Okay, no, no, they that was still hanging on. Dead, but never but mind. Yeah. Not after that back air. That was really nice back air. I really loved how like Amaryllis like just played that last interaction of neutral because that was like or not neutral of advantage because that was the main factor of like what was going to decide whether they win or not because. I feel like if Quids lived just a little bit longer, they definitely would have been able to steal that under from Amaryllis. Yeah, and, and, and after all, this, this is this is Alexa Quid we're talking about here. And, and on top of that, like Charizard does have like quite a quite, quite a bit of a scary shit uh, to, to kill with, despite uh, not not being as scary as as uh, I guess like a character like Squirtle for this matchup in particular. All right here. But anyways, here we go. Into game two, back to PS2. Hey, this is this is uh NY, the NY Smash team. This is Westchester, so I, no, not 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 too much of a surprise that we're back here. I mean, Anyways. PS2 is just you know Smash, just basic, honestly. <laughs> like you always see people go to you know PS2 because it's just basic, honestly. 
Yeah. Ooh, that was a very nice switch and jump right there. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Quid was so close to getting caught right there, but ni ni nice recovery right, right there uh, from Quid. Hold up. Ah, uh, man, I, I, I kind of had a feeling like Quid was trying to... Trying to trying to catch uh, Amarillas there uh, with with their option and disadvantage, state, but nope, not not getting that off. But hey, still so got some some good damage off. Uh, already at around 70, made that 82. Ooh, and got the F smash off. Nicely done by Quid, right there. But hold up, and right up. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right after that, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much clapping back, but. Never mind, there's a clap back right there with, with that back air. Very nicely done. We're seeing some really nice, like, SDI coming in from um, Quid. Specifically because it's, like, really messing up, like, how Amarillos can kind of kill off the top. Which I'm, like, definitely taking note of. Ooh, and if they would have definitely upshifted there, that would have spelled the end for Amarillos on that stock. Just little things to note, like, that really, like, shame. Oh, oh no, the man. Did, 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 did they not, like, land on the ground, like, after, like, all their... Yeah, oh, so I, oh, man. I think they used an ABK into jump. I'm not entirely sure I remember that. But they probably used their jump, which meant that they SD'd right there. And they're already at 60%. Jesus off of Christ. Off just one Squirtle combo, which is actually crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely seeing uh, more, uh, a bit more of what you mean on Squirtle be, being uh, more, more scary on, on this matchup uh, in particular. I mean, yeah, Good because God. Squirtle is, like, super fast. Squirtle like has so many like combos and just like super fast moves that Bayo can't always contest until she gets that one hit by out neutraling her opponent. Yeah. And oh my god! Very nicely done by Quid. Sealing the deal on that very last stack with that up B and taking game two. Yeah, that was definitely really sad to see Amaryllis get that SD specifically because if they didn't SD, they would have had a lot more chances mm -hmm. to play to their advantage, which is making sure that their advantage is really good. Yes. Which you definitely know, like, Amaryllis, once they are in their groove, they are definitely, like, a threat. But if they're scared, then you start to see a lot of, like, um, obvious disadvantage habits, which is a really scary thing about Amaryllis. Mm. They can be so and good, but also so scary. At and, the same time, and, and, and of course, we, 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 we're Bayna. You want to get into get 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 into advanced like right away and like make the most out out of it. And and you definitely can't get given uh Be Bayo's pr uh, seemingly pretty pretty nice options while she's in advanced thing. Speaking of which, oh, well, I, I guess 16 percent ain't too much, but hey, still, I mean, still something. It's still something. It's yeah. Ooh. But yeah, as for that that SD though. Like, yeah, I, I could also kind of see a, a bit of what you, what you mean there with um, Amaryllis uh, having more chances. Because when you get right down to it, the amount of stocks that you have is pretty much the room that you have for, for mistakes. But, hey, at, at least for Amaryllis, th this say ain't over right here. Although we are down to our very last game. Things are looking pretty dang even right here, though. Oop. Oh, dang, that F smash was so close. Pretty much. But, oh, man. Very nice tech read uh, right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, ve oh. very nicely done by Quid with that up Oh. Yo, that was so close to death, but this is really scary for Quid because Quid has not touched the ground in so long. Ooh, and that back air almost connecting. Yep, and Quid nice catch on that ledge option too by Amarillis. Going pretty deep. Oh, but not Quid so... Oh, oh damn, that sucks. I, th I think uh, the, the bit of a multi-hit inconsistency has kind of got to Amarillis there. That that sucks. And, oh, Dang. man, catching them someone with that afterburner kick. As, as they give them a back there. Throwing shots right oh, back. Shit. Jesus Christ. Got like some back and forth shit going on right here. Nice, nice catch on, on their on their option while they're in disadvantage state. And racking up some more damage while being pushed off a bit. But I need some solid damage. Right here. Ooh, Jesus Christ, we, we still 11, 195. What were you saying? I mean, this is just like a Bayo normal. Bayo has to take a little bit of percent in order to be able to like solidify their kill. Because like 200% is a normal. Like you start getting really scared when it's like 200 and like 90%. That's when you should be getting scared because that means that person just does not want to die. See, you, you, you said 290? That's a normal thing for Bayo because like that means that like their opponent is playing like really well. Holy shit. Ooh, and that really nice option. I think one of the things that's definitely been like killing Amaryllis in a lot of these games is how they get off of ledge. Because, like, their ledge options, being able to, like, jump from ledge is probably one of the worst things 
that's actually like leading to like how they die in those situations. Yeah, and and and, uh, and you did see it a bit earlier with uh, with Quid g giving Amaryllis a pretty dang nice back here with, with Zard, and, and I think uh, t taking the first stock off uh, Amaryllis. But now Amaryllis down to their very last stock for for this set right here. It seems. But hold up. Ooh, not jab, nope. Just mm -hmm. yet. Adding up a, a bit more damage. Okay, not, nice easy DLB to, to have uh, well, Amaryllis just back, back the hell off. Ooh, not going to kill just yet. This is really scary for Amaryllis because Ooh. this is Charizard. Indeed. Quid was mad close to getting that grab, but gets the grab right there. No, Amaryllis still hanging on. Despite Quid being 9% away pretty much from Max Rage. And Amaryllis being around 122. Good God. Jesus. Yo, and Bayonetta really even scary. being pretty light, too. Ah, but yo, Quid getting that forward air and sealing the deal on that last stock against Amaryllis, taking it 2-1. That is absolutely crazy. I really love the way that Amaryllis was playing. It's just those, like, small things that really killed the way that they were playing.